Hello everybody, this is Alex from Adata Technologies Marketing Team. Today I'm going to present you Adata's latest SSD solution. It's the S511 based on the latest Zenforce 2200 controller. Supporting the SRT3 standard, it offers a brutal performance of 550 megabytes read and 510 megabytes write speed. We will walk you through an unboxing of the product. After that, we will show you in some easy steps how to upgrade your system from the hard disk drive to an SSD. At the end, we will also run some benchmarks to demonstrate what you get when you upgrade your actual system from the hard disk drive to the ADATA S511 SSD. So this is the package of the SSD. We will simply open it up. Every ADATA SSD comes equipped with a bracket, so it's easy for you to mount the SSD in your system. This is our notebook pack. It includes the external enclosure. You can simply open it, attach the drive, close it again and connect it via USB 3.0 to your system and transfer the files from the hard disk drive to the SSD. To migrate your operating system from the hard disk drive to the SSD, first of all you need to put the SSD in the USB 3.0 enclosure. With each ADATA SSD, you are also allowed to download the latest version of the Acronis Disk Migration Tool. On the back side of the SSD, you find a code of 16 digits, which will allow you to download the latest version on the ADATA website. We already put the SSD drive in the external enclosure, and now we are using the Acronis Migration Tool to clone the existing hard disk drive to the SSD. Therefore we open Acronis, we choose clone disk, we can set it up as recommended automatic mode, choose next. For the source hard disk drive we have to choose disk number one. For the target hard disk, we will choose disk number 3, which is the Adata SSD. We just check before and afterwards, we have the new system installed on the SSD. We proceed. And Acronis now is starting 
and checking and copying the partitions. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the existing hard disk drive in your notebook with an ADATA SSD. First of all, we have to make sure the notebook has no power anymore. So we have to take the battery out. Then we have to lift those two screws over here. To get access to the hard disk drives. In this case, the notebook has two hard disk drives, but we can see this is the first one, this is the second one. So we have to open these screws over here. We see that the hard disk drive is again secured with these four screws. Please make sure to remember how the connectors are on this side. Check it with the SSD and you can simply replace the drive with the SSD. And remount it to the cage. You see, it was pretty easy to change from the hard disk drive to the SSD. Put it back. And we're done. To give you the impression about the speed gains upgrading to an ADATA SSD, we now have two systems here, one equipped with the ADATA SSD and the other one with the standard hard drive. We will run these benchmarks now to demonstrate what the benefit is if you upgrade to an ADATA SSD. First of all, we will run the standard boot sequence. One, two, three. 